Welcome back. In this video, we'll be covering various ways in which you can speed up your support assignment process in Alice so that you can start running scenarios sooner. By the end of this video, you'll have learned how to use the automatic supports functionality, which allows you to set supports for a set of elements along a specific direction that you specify. You'll learn also how to use the support as chain functionality, which allows you to assign supports for a set of selected elements in the order in which you select them in. And finally, you'll learn how to use the Excel editor to create supports based on custom rules you may have. For this video, I'll be using the infrastructure training model available to everyone from trial projects. And specifically, I'll be using the third plan recipes are assigned just because the uh, constraints are not finalized in this one. So we can just play with them and not have any uh, conflicts. And the first functionality we'll learn is the automatic supports functionality. In this case, for example, if we go to properties, we see that everything is sorted by reach, reach one, two, three. And say, for example, we want to make sure that our girders are supported along a specific direction. So I might want to select reach one and say here, I want to support everything left to right. Now you might be asking which is left, which is right, since I can rotate the model and the directions are going to be mapped along to the directions in the view cube over here. So first let's check if there are any supports existing and you'll see that there are supports uh, along the vertical directions. So we need to have these uh, piers before we have the uh, spans and we need to have the spans before we have the railings and the uh, track work and finishing, but we don't have any supports along the horizontal direction. In this case, we were using the adjacency constraint, which we explained in a, another video, but here let's try to use supports to solve that problem. So I want to support everything from left to right. All I have to do is go to supports, auto supports, and choose my direction. So in that case, left to right, it will only apply on the elements I selected. I click on create supports. And here it's going to show us that these in fact were supported uh, in the direction I specified. And say I can go to the second reach and now I can support it in the other direction if I want. So right to left. Of course, that doesn't really make sense, but we're just demoing the feature in that case. So feel free to pause the video at this point and try this feature out on your own. You can try it on the railings as well and then join me again. Okay, welcome back. We're ready to move on into the second feature, which is the support as chain. This is more used for cases not like this one, but it's easy to demonstrate here. So let's say I want to build this panel first and then this one over here and then come back here and then jump all the way here and then come back here. By the way, I'm holding the shift to select all of these in the sequence I want and then this one. I can pre-select all of these in the order I want and then right click support as chain. By the way, from here, I can also access automatic supports. And once I do support as chain, we can verify what happens. So we have this one, which goes to this one, which comes back here, which comes back here. And you might like to navigate those, by the way, also from supports. You can go to next, select the next one you want. In that case, it's the girder over here. Select the next one you want, the girder over here, select the next one you want. And you'll realize that it did in fact assign them in the same order that we selected them in. So again, feel free to pause the video and try this out on your own and join me after. Okay, welcome back. And the final approach we're gonna cover today is using the Excel editor. Now this is fairly advanced, but very powerful. So bear with me as I demonstrate this. So we're gonna go to edit data here. You don't have to select anything. In fact, I can clear my selection. And then you can go to the supports log. Here we have a list of all of the elements, their ID, a list of all their support names and their support IDs. Now the support names here don't do much since names can be duplicated. They're just there for references. What we really want to work with is the IDs. And when there are multiple IDs, they're separated by a comma. Now, what we can do is copy all of this to Excel. I just want to show you guys how powerful this is. So if I copy all of this to Excel and come back and maybe I delete all of the values here, you'll notice that if I save this, all of the supports will be removed. So if I hit OK and refresh the page, you'll notice that there are no supports anymore. I can come back to edit data and 
paste that data back. So I'm going to paste that column back. And paste the other one. You might not need to paste both in that case since just one uh, previous implies the next and the next implies the previous. If you want to delete supports, you have to make sure to delete it in both places. And if I save, you'll notice all of these supports are assigned again, just how they were before. And I didn't even need to refresh the page in that case. Now, uh, of course, the purpose of this feature is not to copy, delete everything and paste back. But is if you have some rules that you want to work on in Excel, to automate the assignment of these IDs, or if you're taking the same structure you have in a previous schedule, say from P6, and you have the predecessors and successors, you can map the IDs of the element in Alice to the ones in P6 and transfer the data in that way. And then you'll be able to copy it into existence inside of this uh, tabular editing feature in Alice. And that's all we're going to cover for today. So to recap, we learned how to use the automatic supports functionality to assign supports in a specific direction. We learned how to use the support as chain to assign supports in a specific order that we clicked in. And finally, we learned how to use the edit data table so that we can make all of our editing in Excel and then copy it into Alice and assign the supports in that way. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please reach out and thank you for watching.